Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Asma and I'm a pediatric doctor by background and I am an international medical graduate. Uh, this video is a continuation of my previous videos which I have done for guidance of junior doctors, especially international medical graduate. And uh, today I will uh, discuss a very interesting topic. This is about um, a less well-known ST1 specialties. And um, even I, I would say as uh, when you graduate, either in this country or especially as an international medical graduate when you come to the uh, to the NHS uh, most fascinating specialties are just which are happening in front of our eyes and sometimes we don't even bother or we don't even think and don't scratch our head to see what career options we can have as a doctor and um, uh, this video would provide some guidance of uh, a few specialties which are rare and which are not very well known and uh, can be really a very fantastic career option so um, coming to the first specialty it is um, a broad based training program as ST1 as ST1 you start so um, it is a two-year program in which you have six months placement in four specialties uh, of medicine which are internal medicine pediatrics psychiatry and general practice and when you are successfully you have finished broad based training the um, uh, the plus point is that you join any of these four specialties as a second year trainee. So it exempts your first year of the specialty training and it gives you an option to try four different specialties in a structured program and develop your competencies and skills in it. Um, it looks like really a very good option for uh, um, young uh, doctors who are still uh, in the process of making up their mind uh, whether they want to join psychiatry, general practice pediatrics or internal medicine um, presently it is running only in Scotland and Ireland um, and uh, the application process is the same as uh, all the uh, national training programs that you apply on Oreo and then you uh, follow the process of application um, and uh, assessment so uh, that was about the broad broad based training uh, second specialty is, the name is quite long, Community Sexual and Reproductive Health, SD1. So uh, this um, specialty aims to train a consultant workforce within the necessary uh, with the necessary leadership skills and um, uh, as well as the clinical skill for community-based sexual and reproductive health services. It's a six-year uh, long program and uh, it is it has been uh, it, it's it, it was started in 2010 and uh, it has three levels of training um, first first of all there's a three years of open ops and gynae and sexual and reproductive health uh, trainees followed uh, different competencies from ob gynae trainees which are focused towards medical gynecology rather than labor ward uh, expertise so in your basic training you have st1 st2 st3 then you have intermediate training st4 and st5 and then you have advanced training st6 and like um, like all the other specialties it has uh, two exam at the end of your level one and at the end of your level two so um, it's quite interesting and it is said it is quite competitive as well because um, it gives uh, it gives you a chance to practice in community while sticking to your specialties so uh, the peop uh, so people who have inspiration to become a gynecology consultant uh, while living in the community and uh, you know exploring your options uh, i guess that's really interesting uh, and valuable for them uh, and for uh, community and sexual health uh, specialty again uh, the pro process the uh, application and recruitment process is the same it's an oral application when you're long listed you're invited for MRSA um, um, exam and at the end of uh, exam there is a uh, uh, your uh, scoring and based on your scoring um, and your interviews um, 
uh, your offers are released. Um, the third specialty is public health ST1. So public health ST1 is not, uh, not only available to doctors, but also other professionals who have graduate and postgraduate degrees. Uh, it is a five year training program which trains a consultant in public health. And as, it, as the name suggests, it, it is uh, about public health policies, um, and basically services and management role. So um, uh, the, um, the selection process is slightly different, uh, though it is an oral application, but uh, because it is intended not only for doctors, it is intended for the other professionals as well. So it does not have MRS exam, although the assessment exam uh, does encompass uh, the situational judgment and your um, quality or uh, leadership qualities but it is not called MRS exam and for more information you can always check uh, public health um, ST1 training um, uh, website um, uh, right so uh, that was really it I, I I really think these three specialties are less well known and um, it just uh, I have given a flavor of what this training encompasses and what uh, what is the aim of these uh, uh, subspecialties uh, knowing just knowing your options can sometimes really make you more confident in what you're doing later in life I hope this uh, this really helps and uh, if you have liked it please subscribe thank you bye bye